guys hello so this is a really difficult video to make due to being unsuccessful in a funding application that I submitted uh, I unfortunately couldn't afford to pay for the flights with outside funding I was prepared to do whatever it took to make up the shortfall at present I have about 840 pounds towards the trip um, but I was notified yesterday by the Department for Work and Pensions, which is the Government Department for Benefits or Welfare in the US, I suppose, is the closest approximation. They just basically told me I had £300 to live on per month, which is not nearly enough. Um, and that has rendered any idea of international opportunities unfeasible. I'm at the point of writing the email to cancel my place on the course. Now obviously I will blur everything out as far as people's names are concerned, but I've been con like talking to the administrators and the organisers of this course as well as Sarah Watts, she's aware of the whole situation. I, I messaged her directly, but I've been talking to the admin people from the Lunenburg Academy of Music Performance for literally months now, a few years at this point. Um, and I could have just said, unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm going to have to pull out of the course, but I've written a long email um, which I will show in full. Um, call me a, a YouTuber if, if you like using anything for content, but this is content that's relevant to what I'm trying to do on the channel. So anyway, I'm about to send this to them. I just wanted you to be with me while I sent this email. Okay, here it goes. I've literally been editing that thing for about 30 minutes because I know it's just a course. It's a week. I was due to do this back in 2020. Obviously the pandemic had other ideas. No, I'm going to come back a bit later. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. I never made it back. It was just too much. So... Here's the email I sent. It says the following. Hi Trudy, Bert. I hope you both and the rest of the team are well. I'm not doing so well if I'm honest and I'll admit that this email is really difficult to write. You may know that I applied for a big chunk of funding to help cover the costs of the flights to the course, like I had last time, and aimed to make up the rest with crowdfunding and my own savings. Unfortunately that chunk of funding has not come through, leaving me with a hefty shortfall. I brushed myself off after finding out last week, and I was stealing myself to try to make up for the shortfall by hustling, saving, more crowdfunding, busking, change down the back of the couch, every little helps, and so on. Just yesterday, I was notified that I will only have approximately £300 to go towards my living expenses per month through government benefits. There is no need to convert this into Canadian dollars for you to know that this isn't nearly enough for an adult to live on. As a result, international trips are unthinkable right now. I know you don't need to know all of the above, but I needed you to know the rather sudden context around the following decision. Sadly, I can no longer attend the course as planned this June. I deeply appreciate all that you, Bert, Judith, and everybody behind the scenes have done to help me get there. I especially thank you for the bursary that you had awarded me to attend. I hope that whoever receives it in my stead has a great time. It just wasn't meant to be for me. Above being said, I do hope to get to meet you all someday. Trudy, I've especially enjoyed chatting to you throughout the whole process, and my mind kind of refuses to acknowledge that we won't have a chance for a tea, cake, and a chat someday. So here's hoping stars align someday, eh? I'll leave it there, I think, and go and have a commiseratory cup of tea. Thanks again for everything, everyone. Warmest regards, Catmas.
But still, life goes on and I went on holiday to Carnarvon, which is where I'm going to take you with me today. Whilst this part of the journey may seem a little boring to some of you, I just wanted to draw attention to Victoria Station, which is just one of my favourite places to be. Which is just as well, because I actually arrived over two hours early for my train, because dyslexia. But anyway, here's me having a lovely coffee and just generally having a nice time. This is actually where I posted from uh, regarding some news I had. Those of you that remember that post can probably imagine why I was having a difficult week. That was the week that I discovered that I didn't get the funding, hence the emotion here. Another thing that cheered me up was this pianist, which you can see playing his heart out here. Um, I don't know his name. What I do know is that a lot of stations and whatnot have pianos like this in the station, and there's always someone playing it, and I'm here for it. Anyway, enjoy the old and the new as I take the ride from Manchester to Chester Station. This journey had reminded me what it was like to actually rely on trains and not my own car for getting home. And I missed this coastline. And you can see why it's stunning. Can we go? Let's do this. So, my mum has been getting into wild swimming recently. She suggested that this would be a great way to forget my problems. Between the views and the cold water, I think she has a point. I didn't quite realise how bad quality the sound was. Um, but what I'm saying is, is I'm not taking you in with me. For what I feel like are very obvious reasons. Afterwards, we got warm in the car with the help of hot chocolate and almond chocolate. Mm. Got back in and just the right time we got in. The mountains have disappeared. A few days later, I actually went back with my friend Jo and her dog Aira. In a Stinslaus sells ice cream, including dog ice cream, so obviously we had to get some for Aira. If anyone is interested, I got the salted caramel, I think. When I got home from this outing, my mum told me that we'd been asked to dep or to fill in for some friends who couldn't make a Kaylee. There's no rest for the wicked, so off we went to play a Kaylee. Just like that, we were there. And so the shenanigans continued into the night, and that concludes the footage for my holidays. In the meantime, please enjoy Tilly looking beatific as usual.
I think it's really potent. <laughs> she's not happy, but she is happy, but she's not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really biting. <laughs> oh, is that what you wanted to do? Okay. She tried to scratch her ear, but she just kept... Yourself, do you? <laughs> <laughs>